Hi, my name is Don. I'm a general surgery resident, and this is a simple tutorial on the instrument tie. This is the first video in a series about knot tying. So this isn't a suture video, but I do recommend you getting a suture pad, which includes a needle driver. You can use whatever grip you like, as long as you can open and close the needle driver easily. After putting in your stitch, you're going to pull the suture through and making sure the end is the right length. Here I'm showing that the tail is too long and that will be difficult for you to handle and tie. On the other hand, this is a bit too short and might make it a bit difficult. This is about the length you want if you want to be conservative with your suture. The first step will be to place your needle driver in between both ends of the suture. The second step will be to wrap the suture with your hand around the needle driver twice like such. Some people will use the needle driver a bit more and some people will use their hands a bit more. It doesn't matter as long as you get it done. You're going to grab the suture tail with your needle driver and pull through and tighten. By wrapping the suture around twice, you're creating a surgeon's knot, which is to be used for the first knot only. This way, it is less prone to slipping. However, you are at risk of creating an air knot which means that the ends of the wound will not be tight. For the following throws, you're just going to wrap it around once and pull through, repeating these steps over and over again about five times. Needle driver in the center, wrapping the suture around the needle driver, grabbing the free end, and pulling through. And that's the basic of instrument tying. Here are some tips to make things a little easier. You definitely want to grab the end of the free suture and not the bottom like I'm showing. So you grab the free end, that way when you pull through, it goes through nicely. If you grab the bottom, you're at risk of creating just a little knot like that. If your tail was longer, it'd be a bit more cumbersome. The second tip is to use the tip of the needle driver and not uh, the inside of the jaw like that. It's not that big of a deal, but you'll notice that it does slip a little bit more than if you use the end or the tip of the driver. The last thing to keep in mind is that to make square and tight knots, you need to alternate how you're pulling. Notice how the free end is towards me, and as I'm pulling it through, I'm pulling it away from me, and my hand is pulling the string in the opposite direction. And like this, it was away and I'm pulling towards. So if you look at the free end, I'm always alternating it. This way, the knots alternate and the knot is stronger. Sped up, you can see clearly that I'm pulling on different sides at every throw. And that's it. Keep practicing and move on to hand tying. 